and welcome to my channel Easy Painting. Today we are going to talk about uh, value and how to render uh, value black and white to a uh, colored value exercise. So I think that there is a lot to take away from that uh, and next week we are going to do a landscape and we will apply what we learned from this study today. Before I start the video I'd like you to subscribe, to like and to share please as this helps to rank the videos on YouTube and I am very very grateful for that. So without further ado we are going to uh, go on to the values. So here we have the drawing that I have taken from this picture. So I did two drawings similar, uh, one for the grey value and one for the colour exercise. Uh, and this is what I'm doing uh, generally if I'm outside or indoors. I am uh, doing four, five, six sketches uh, to find a relationship also I would maybe place uh, the sky differently or the tree differently, uh, go around, have different angles or try to find a, a better view to suit a better painting. And this is generally what I would do uh, for any painting. So I would uh, choose the best view uh, then I would key the painting and uh, start with a value before I start in colour. This picture has been taken a couple of miles from the road so um, I decided that would be the composition. So let's jump right in. So the value I decided to go with is uh, uh, the value 2, 4 and 7. The 8 I put down here is a color note that's why I'll put a little mark next to it. So a dark color note and uh, a light color note but my uh, my values, my main values would be 2, 4 and 7. In general it is best to keep uh, only three or four values uh, to depict a scene. So my sky to start with is of a value two and I have got some marker pens as you can see there. Um, they, you can buy them in any art shop. So they are value marker pens and you can get them in grey, cold grey or warm grey as well. So I decided to put the whole sky in a value 2 including the clouds and we also have our road is going to be value 2. Sometimes the playing ground can be the same value but as you can see on the pictures the road was a bit lighter so I didn't want to get the whole plane value uh, the whole plane sorry at the same value so therefore the plane uh, will be at a value 4. But here we already have a color harmony, or a value harmony, I should say, between the sky and the plane. So my next value will be the tree value, which is a value 7. And if I don't remember if I if we talked about it on this channel 
Um, but I've got this concept from a, a painter called John Carlson. I'm reading this from his book, actually. Uh, when he uh, uses values, uh, he's talking about the four uh, prime planes of the landscapes. Uh, so one is the flat lying plane, the ground. Two is the upright plane of the trees. Three is the slanting plane of the mountains. And four is the apparent arch of the sky, the source of light. So to say that on those four points he puts four values to help us understand and paint better landscapes. Also next to this diagram in his book um, he's talking about those four values and he says these are the main values of light and dark produced by presenting the differing planes to the light. All intermediate values are subservient to the main values. So I uh, strongly recommend uh, to uh, buy his books for those who are interested in um, landscape painting. It is the Carlson's Kals Guide to Landscape Painting. It's called the book. Uh, and it is very 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 interesting and uh, there's loads and loads of material who would help you to uh, grow as an artist in landscapes so here I'm explaining briefly that I added a uh, little um, hill on the left side to make the paint a little more interesting um, which I will be um, drawing in the same value as the plane. So what will differentiate the um, values or sub-values is what we just read uh, from his book. Um, that all other values are, are subservient to the main values. There is also a way that we are going to differentiate the uh, the values, and this will be by uh, temperature, color temperature. So although the plane and uh, the um, hill are the same value, we will uh, separate them with a different color. So I must emphasize it's a different color, but the same value. It's very important to understand that. So now we have blocked in the values. We are going to put some uh, darker notes, uh, which is in a value 8. Um, and this will give us the volume of the tree or the bushes, etc., etc. Keep those for the end. And we can also put some lighter notes. And these are going in when we are going to start to, uh, to put down the color in the picture below. So let's put down the notation uh, just to, to so we clear on what value we put down um, on that picture. So for the sky we used value 2 and for the road value 7 for the tree value uh, 7 for the bushes and a value 4 for uh, the playing ground and uh, um, the hill in the back. 
So we are going to repeat those values in uh, color now and uh, I will readjust the camera and uh, we are going to start. I'm going to put the colors down to the side and we're going to start the color study. So you can see here the colors on the palette. Uh, so on the top I've got some grays, some uh, grays that are made with all three primaries. So they all contain red, blue, uh, yellow and uh, uh, white. Uh, so some values, that's a value is around seven. The middle value is a bit pinkish, is around four. And the bluer value is a value uh, two. Uh, so we are going to twig them uh, by adding some uh, primary colors to obtain uh, the the tint that we are uh, after. Um, so let's get into it. So as I drop to the angle of the camera, I will have to um, to put get the colors down here. Um, and you can see I've put the value uh, seven uh, on the side there or in the middle of that board uh, and we now will tweak this value to get a green as we know uh, we after a dark green so for that we will tweak uh, this gray by adding some blues to darken it slightly because when I will add the yellow uh, it will lighten itself again So what you see me doing here with a knife up in the air is to check on the uh, value scale if I have the correct value. So as you see, for now we are far from uh, green, but uh, with just a little tweaking, as these greys contain all three primaries we quickly will get uh, the right green at the right value so checking again so you will notice and I may as well talk about it now as we um, go about the painting uh, this value gets a little darker than seven it gets more like an eight um, but because I do I respect the whole uh, procedure throughout the painting uh, meaning that the bushes will be the same value it doesn't disrupt the harmony of the painting uh, but I know some of you will say, well, it's dark, darker than uh, the, the value uh, above. Uh, yes, it is darker, uh, but it's only darker by one value, and, um, and this is still fine uh, for this demonstration. So as the tree is my uh, focal point, I always... Oh, not always, but often start with my focal point first. Also, I didn't mention what you see me here is dipping in a little bit of a medium and just to give uh, a little more fluidity to the painting, or to the paint, I should say. So as you can see, there is small parts that I'm speeding up because there is nothing um, more to it. I'm just repeating what I did above, but in colors. So I'm adding my values. 
well let's keep it just as original so seven here and now we will go about uh, the ground the plane and I will take this um, great color that I've got up there again I will tweak it so I can get a green uh, I will put the picture up very briefly here so you can see that I've got some green and some yellow so with this same value I will make a green and a yellow that I will use in the ground plane uh, that's what we said earlier uh, we stay in the same value but we are uh, playing with uh, color with the tint So as you can see, out of the same value, uh, we made a yellow-green and a, a greener-green, let's put it this way, uh, but we stay in the same value. So if you screen down, they're in the middle of both, uh, you cannot make up out one or the other a color and therefore uh, you know you are in the same value so here I'm putting in uh, the greener uh, tint And there we're putting the yellow a bit of this uh, tint and same value. So this is just an exercise so we are not going to bother with any uh, details. We are just focusing on the values for this video. So now I'm going to mix uh, the hillside and we are keeping the same value but just changing uh, the temperature and the hue as we want it bluer. And at this part, at this point, it won't be blue enough so we'll arrange it uh, a little later anyway for now we are uh, preparing for this hillside now it's time to get in the sky for this I use uh, the value 2 here and again I'm going to tweak it I think I'm just lightening it a little bit with white yes just to get that value 2 
you can take this opportunity to cut out the tree a little if you want to give it some more shape or different shape So now we are going to put in the road. So I'll put this a little bit of that uh, value uh, 7 and value 2 in to my sky. As I want to keep the same value, if you remember, the road is supposed to be the same value as the sky. So once I'm happy with the, um, my color, I will uh, put it in the picture. I'll decide here to darken it slightly, very slightly, just to have a difference. So there is not even half a tone difference here in value. So now it is time to mix the color notes and for that we are going to go a little darker. So I take uh, that green value I had and add a little bit more uh, paint to it and darken it with some blue, ultramarine blue, to obtain a stronger darker value. And uh, these color notes will go uh, wherever the shadows would be So I must apologize because of the lighting I've, I've got here. We can't see those darker notes uh, very well. We, we can see them, but not uh, very well. So I'll uh, change the camera angle later on and uh, you will see it a little better. So now uh, I'm doing a lighter light, just a note uh, for the lit side of the, of the tree. And there I'm adding just a very few sky holes. So be careful with the sky holes, don't overdo it. Some here and there will just do the trick. So as you can, can see, we come back to the value of the tree and, um, and the bushes in the back. They are darker, but it still works. Uh, with the, the whole painting. So it's time to mix the cloud. 
so I want to do a, a little grey, uh, a warm grey that I will put on the left side of the, um, the picture. And I will stay with the same value. There will be half a tone a difference maybe, but no more than that. And let's put in our clouds. So adding that small cloud below, you can see that it doesn't fit with uh, the value of the sky. So I'll uh, spend a bit of time um, lightening it uh, to fit in the picture. So once your values are set you will and, and you make a mistake, um, a value mistake, you will see it straight away. It will stick out like a, a, a sore thumb. Uh, and you will be able to rectify your mistakes straight away. This is why it is important to uh, stick with uh, correct values all along the painting. I'm also going to cool down, as, as I said earlier, uh, the, uh, the hill side. We're going to make it bluer. Try to keep the same value but make it a little bluer and you'll see that it will uh, travel back in distance straight away just by cooling down uh, this hill will uh, set it back and that is it my friends that's the demonstration done so you can see that um, uh, value studies are very important. It is not difficult to transcribe uh, the color value uh, from a gray uh, value study. Um, and doing so, it will really help you to have a good harmony in your painting and also to understand the subject a little better. Um, so yeah, I strongly um, recommend to work on values uh, before you start on a painting. So thank you for your patience and I uh, see you around next week for uh, landscape painting.